An impressive debut so far in Tokyo for Zhang Xinwen. 19 year old getting a straight set victory over Nasaki Doi in the opening round. And now looking to book a quarter final spot at this event. Paula Barbosa, the world number four and top seed this week in Tokyo. Playing her first match of this event. And like her opponent, making a debut here at this tournament. Hasn't found her best form in recent months. But hoping to finish the season strongly to consolidate her place in the world's top five. So back to the second round action in Tokyo. We've just had a first round match. The last of the first round matches conclude here on this court. With the eighth seed losing out. And then we're back in a beaten by Lyudmila Samsonova. And there's a potential for a bit of an upset here as well in the second round. Palabarosa, the top seed this week. And as I mentioned, not exactly in the best of form of late. A little bit up and down. Taking on... A very exciting young player, still 19 years old, turns 20 later this year, Zhang Xinwen. Career high ranking this week of 36. She's shown this year what has been a breakout season for her. And she is capable of some really impressive tennis. So our penultimate match today here on Centre Court, the number one seed in action for the very first time, Spain's Paolo Barossa, taking on Zhang Xinwen of China, unseeded but ranked 36 in the world, but a player on the up. So Paolo Barossa has uh, found things a little tricky of late, ranked number four in the world. So got herself up as high as number two. Three career titles for the number one seed. Three minutes. Her best run that recently came in San Jose where she made the semi-finals and some suggestion there that she was starting to find a little bit of form. Got a good win over Coco Goff at that event but then lost her first matches in both uh, Toronto and Cincinnati. And then lost in the second round of the US Open to Petra Martic. It was after making the fourth round of Wimbledon. It was only made to the quarterfinals in one event since losing to Sabalenka in Stuttgart back in April. And that was, of course, in San Jose. So a big test here. To try and rediscover some of her best form. And she certainly could have had an easier draw in the uh, second round of this event because Zhang Xinwen is a player that I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of at the big events over the next couple of years. She doesn't turn 20 until uh, next month. Currently ranked 36 in the world. New career high ranking as of this week. to make the uh, third quarter final of her career. She's a semi-finalist in Melbourne right at the start of the season prior to the Australian Open lost to Simona Harrop. Reached the uh, final four there as a qualifier and maybe a, her best run so far or one of her best runs certainly came in Toronto where she made the quarter finals. Also a fourth round appearance at the French Open where she really pushed Iga Sviantec. Nearly caused a huge upset there. She won the biggest title of her career back in 
June in Valencia, 125k title. She's chasing her first tour level title. She also uh, owns an 8 and 0 record in ITF finals as well. Never lost the final at ITF level or higher so far. Nine out of nine. And certainly had some uh, standout runs in what is uh, definitely a breakout season for her. She made her main draw tour level debut last year in uh, Palermo, where she made it through to the Play second round. She played just four tour level sets. main draw matches. In 2021, so she really has made remarkable progress over the last year. 14 months, 15 months or so since that tour level debut. Finds herself in the world's top 40. And her talent is no secret anymore. Palabella sort of being more than aware of just how difficult this match could be. when taking all the uh, factors into account is a marginal favourite according to the algorithm today it is a hard one to call